the podcast, which is the opportunity to see this number third last day of 2014. Uh, that, it's not a big rush, uh, to but some little tidbits, um, story from wrapup.com, uh, LL Cool J, uh, rap, uh, Singer, I mean rapper, singer, songwriter, actor. He has announced a collaboration with uh, Rap Superstar Mogul uh, Eminem for Rel uh, Cool uh, next song, Goat 2. And speaking of Eminem coming real soon, I'm not really sure when, but I will be doing uh, resuming the Shady XV uh, records. Yeah, but sometime today, tomorrow, but uh, nerd. It's a, like a hip hop slash R and B group that Pharrell has been with the group. The, the group has reunited for the first time in a long time. And they also did a, a new single for a SpongeBob the Nerd called Squeeze Me. Um, I mentioned this to you guys about Smash the Pumpkins, Billy Corgan, how he's been bashing their pop artists and all that. This would probably go down as probably was not, not really, but really just out of their uh, music headlines of 2014. He said he's open, and this is, this is a direct quote from uh, Billy Corgan of Smash the Pumpkins. He said he's open, open the collaborative with Bill Cyrus on a new single. I'm not sure what to make of it, but... Um, speaking of Pantera, there was a uh, new release uh, track that, uh, of the late great Donovan Big Bear that he has uploaded and played live. But, uh, I think I said mentions to you guys yesterday during Monday Rock Music headlines. I was supposed to be Pantera at Philip and Cena with like Brazil Pantera back and also have Zach Wild and then Danny Paul was a former drummer of Pantera now he's with Hell Yeah and all that. He said he does not want to reunite, bring back Pantera because he doesn't want to uh, Ruin memory of uh, Time Big Barrel. But uh, according to Zach Bell, well, mentioned to you guys yesterday that he uh, was, was uh, supposed to be back here and I'm just a phone call, but who knows if, if, uh, if that is actually true. And a lot of God, speaking of a lot of God, it was the other day about the, the duty of Palestine. This has, oh, sometime this week, I'm not sure when, but we are watching the late uh, God DVD, but uh, they are currently working on new material. This is a new material that sounds pretty monstrous this far, says the uh, Alarm God from uh, Ronnie Blaze Who. It was it last year when that uh, if you guys saw the story when uh, I think last year was a very controversial year for uh Lamba because they you guys didn't know the story. They play a show in Prague and Czech Republic and I think it probably gonna be pretty mentioned in the in the D V D but uh, just a little twist your steps of the story. Uh, they play a show with Progress Up Republic and there was this huge Lamb of God fan who jumped the stage about four times but he got shoved off three times but the fourth time well he got killed right, right on the spot and next thing you know the, after the show was over my brothers got arrested because of the whole attempted murder and all that because he shoved off but it didn't like he shoved off the fan with like his security guard I, not really sure, I don't know how of uh, who could have been Randy Blaze himself or could have been a security guard. But Randy Blaze got arrested and sent to jail and uh probably there was like he didn't know the future of 
Um, guys, if you do continue, because the whole thing, he was stuck in jail for a number of days. And next thing you know, he reached a verdict, he was not guilty, and he, uh, paid the, uh, the disease fan probably thousands, thousands of dollars forever, forever, if, I'm not sure, oh, what well, really went down, and now uh, that Red Blast is a free man. But, uh, it just goes to show a band, like, I don't know why they have any band, you can go see a band live, and next time you're jumping this, try to jump the stage and all that, and you get shoved off three times, and next thing you know you're shoved off, and you get killed. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this little mini little last Tuesday last show coming up. Doing a look back of the year 2014, because, by God, there was a lot of things that happened, and if you guys can see the little, uh, thing by the, the big stories of 2014, because there was, a lot, and there's a lot of great albums that have came out this year, and we also said goodbye to a couple of music icons. So, stay tuned. See you in a bit.